Hey everyone! So today we're going to be going over some composition techniques. Now you're going to be wanting to pay close attention because you're going to be practicing these techniques for your next project. So let's get to it. All right. So first off, we want to talk about what is composition. So composition is how the elements in a photograph work together to reinforce what the photographer is trying to communicate with a photo. Now we're going to go even more in depth with this next week, but for now we're just going to focus on some techniques to get you started. So in these next few videos, we're going to be looking at vertical versus horizontal orientation, foreground, middle ground, and backgrounds, the rule of thirds, leading lines, active space, negative space, framing, fill the frame, and simplifying and avoiding distractions. So first off, let's talk about vertical versus horizontal orientation. So let me grab a piece of paper. Um, simply put, so this, here we go. This is horizontal and this is vertical. Okay. So why, when do you decide which orientation to use? Well, usually the general rule is that whatever orientation your subject is in, then that is the orientation you should use. So if, you know, sometimes when like you're printing or something, you'll see that vertical is actually referred to as portrait. That's because if we're taking a portrait of someone, then the main subject has more of a vertical look to them. And so you will use a vertical orientation, whereas um, a horizontal or sometimes referred to as landscape um, would be used when you have something that's more of a horizontal view, like a landscape. Now the orient orientation can affect the communication of a photo and these are some really general type of rules but generally vertical conveys more power and dominance whereas horizontal can also um, convey more of a calming type of vibe so let's look at some examples now first off here are two photos of the same subject this is half dome in yosemite and so here we have you know the standard landscape orientation or horizontal orientation because we're shooting a landscape and it does feel pretty calm. Now this doesn't mean that you have to absolutely stick with this. In fact, with all of these rules and rules in general, you know, this whole, I don't know if you guys ever heard the uh, term that you have to learn the rules to break them. Well, this is because when you learn what a rule does, then if you want to actually communicate the opposite of that, you can break the rule to communicate what you're trying to communicate. So anyways, here we have the horizontal view of Half Dome. We have this nice calming misty forest look. Now, if I went ahead and went vertical, now we have um, our subject. And for me, at least this does convey more of a strength to it. Um, we have just it right in the middle. It's very strong. Um, we're going, our eye goes right to it. Whereas with this view, this works well too. It's a nice photo. Um, but to me, it does have more of a calming look to it. So it really just depends on what you are trying to communicate. This communicates more of like the overall scene and vibe of the, um, of what's going on. Whereas this one is really focused in on the mountain and showing us the strength of that rock. All right. So let's look at some more examples. So here's some portrait examples, and this is what I mean that, you know, kind of just depends on the orientation of your subject. Here's a classic example here. Um, you know, we're close up, we're, well, head and shoulders, not completely close up, but head and shoulders. And, you know, the, her main shape is very vertical, so the photo is taken vertically. Now with this one, still a portrait, but she's sitting down and the main shape of her is more of a horizontal shape. So we have a horizontal uh, orientation. Same with this photo here, this lovely wedding shot. Uh, you know, we have, if you look at both of them, they're, both of them are your subject and their shape is more of a horizontal. So the camera is turned horizontally. Now, if I was shooting this couple and I decided to go with a full body view, then their whole shape would be more of a vertical shape. And then I would uh, go ahead and switch my camera to vertical instead. 
Okay, and here's a couple more portraits. Oh, this one was just fun. <laughs> All right. Um, continuing on. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here and then move on to the next video. So next video, we will be talking about foreground, middle ground, and background. <laughs>